Hello everyone. This is my second video on the chapter Impressive Web Designing of Standard 11 Maharashtra State Board. You all might have seen my first video on same chapter part 1. If you like my videos, please subscribe to this channel and also click on the bell icon so that if you want to get the notification you will get the notification of all the videos what i post on this youtube channel so now let us begin on the part two of chapter three impressive web designing 11th standard maharashtra state board let us begin with img image tag inserting an image into your website to do this we have img tag which is used to insert an image within a web page if you want to display an image into your website then you make use of img tag img tag have its attributes like source src stands for source src specifies the part of an image file you need to specify a name of an image file and this we do with the help of src attribute note that the image files with extension png jpg gif and all those which are supported by the web browser can be used with src second attribute height attribute height attribute is used to specify the height of an image in pixels or in percentage if you do not specify the height attribute then whatever is a default size or default height of an image that will be displayed onto the web browser Similarly, we have width attribute. The value here also we specify in pixels or in percentage. If you don't specify the width attribute, the default width of an image will be specified or with uh, image will be displayed into the default width. Alt. Alt is referred to as an alternate text. It specifies the description of an image. When you place a mouse cursor onto an image, when mouse pointer is placed onto an image, at that time you can see the description of an image. To display the description of an image, when mouse pointer is placed onto an image, we make a use of alt attribute. Horizontal ruled line HR. HR tag is used to display horizontal ruled line. HR stands for horizontal rule. It is a singular tag. Also note that IMG tag is also a singular tag. That means there is no closing tag for IMG tag and also there is no closing tag for HR tag. The attributes for HR tag are color. To set the color for horizontal line, we make use of color attribute. Width, it specifies the length of a rule line. We specify the value in percentage or in pixels. Similarly, we have a size attribute, which specifies the thickness of the ruled line next let us understand p tag paragraph tag p tag is used to define the paragraphs and this is a container tag that means this has a closing tag attributes for paragraph tag align for which we have three values left right and center 
default alignment is left. Let us see all these three tags practically. Now let me move on to the notepad and a web browser so that we see these three tags working. This is a notepad. I already typed the basic tags. Let me show how ing tag works. IMG is a tag with the help of which we can display an image onto the web browser. SRC is one of the attribute which specifies the path or a name of an image file. If an image file is located into the same folder where your HTML file is located, no need to specify the path directly you give the name of an image if an image file is located into an another folder it is always better to copy that file into the same folder where html file is located and directly give the name of an image file without typing other attributes let us see how will this work but then as i told before img tag is an singular tag and singular tag you write slash at the end of the closing angular bracket it is always a proper practice to have a slash at the end for a singular tag or to denote that this is a singular tag. Let us now see the output. I save this file and onto the web browser Google Chrome. I just reload and you can see an image over here. I already had an image logo.jpg which I have used into my web file my web page and when you see an output you see that image i have few more files clock.jpg let me use clock.jpg instead of logo.jpg i write clock.jpg i save my file i see an output have a clock this is how img tag works let us see some more attributes of img tag let me increase the size of this image i do it with the help of height and width attribute so i use height equals number is to be specified into pixels or in percentage let me specify into pixels when i specify a number into pixel i just write a number let's say 300 so height of an image will be 300 pixels similarly i write width equals 300 I save this go on to the web browser I reload you see the size is now big if instead of 300 as in pixel I give 30 and write a percentage symbol it will be 30 percent of the browser screen I save this I refresh 30% of the, this whole screen is of 100% out of this 
a 30 person let me put a 50 person so that it looks like something uh, half of the screen so I say 50 I save it see the output a 50 percent of the screen you see I change it to 500 when I don't write percentage it will be a pixels it is 500 pixels I save it reload this is 500 pixels width 500 pixels height next let us have a look at HR tag horizontal ruled line horizontal ruled line to do this let me add an HR tag HR without an attribute if I write HR tag it displays an horizontal rule line of 100% size HR tag is a singular tag hence I add a slash it's always a best programming practice to write a slash at the end of the tag which do not have a closing tag I save this let me now see the output I refresh you notice a line over here you see a line is spread over here let me change the height of an image I say 20 and 20 so that image becomes small and I see the line up save it refresh my screen you see a line over here an image has become very small 20 pixels now I change the color of a line with the help of color attribute of HR tag I write HR color equals red I save it go on to the web browser reload you see a color of the line changes to red other attribute is size size equals I write it as an 10 this 10 means 10 pixels you see the thickness of the size will be increased thickness of the line is increased you see the thickness of the line is increased to 10 pixels I again increased I write size equals 20 I save let us see the output. I refresh. More thick. Now let us see a third attribute that is width. Width equals by default the width is 100% of the screen. I write 50%. You will notice. fifty percent of the screen half of the screen another attribute align equals by default the line is center aligned if I write it as align equals left I refresh it's left aligned if I align equals right it will be right aligned
I removed the width align and I make its size as 10 pixels. I save it in the output 10 pixels and red color. Now let us see paragraph tag. P tag is a container tag means it's a paired tag which has a closing tag. Here you can type any of the paragraph to start with a paragraph to be shown onto the web browser we make use of p tag i type a small paragraph or rather i'll copy a paragraph instead of typing to save time i've copied the paragraph let us see I save it and this is a paragraph I start in another paragraph copying the same thing another paragraph with another p tag I save it I reload a paragraph you see this is a new paragraph in itself. Paragraph tag is an attribute called align, which has three values, but default alignment is left. I write its center. Let's save it. See the output. You see this paragraph is center aligned this is the default alignment that is left I change it to the right I save it this is a right alignment now let us move ahead to see what is a table tag how do we display a tabular information tabular data onto the web browser to this HTML provides us with the table tag table is made up of rows and columns table in a web page is created by using a table tag it is a container tag and the tag and attributes used to create a table tag are there's a table tag, there's a caption tag, tr tag, th tag, td tag. So these are the tags table, caption, tr, th, and td. Table tag. Table tag is used to indicate the creation of a table. So tell the web browser he, whatever content is written below should be into a tabular format. We write a table tag. Caption tag. It is used to specify a table heading. The heading for a table we make a use of caption tag. It has an align attribute which can have top or bottom values. That means caption can be displayed at the top of a table or at the bottom of a table. By default, it displays the caption in top and the text written in between the opening and closing caption tag is displayed as a caption to a table. PR tag, it is used to create a row for a table. When you all know the table consists of rows and columns, to create a row, we make use of tr tag, table row. th and td tag are similar. 
for first row or for as an heading for the content of a table we may a use of th tag but instead you can also write td tag it indicates the table heading it is generally used for first row or first column it displays the content in a bold format making the use of th tag displays the content in the bold format whereas td does not displays into the bold format and th can be replaced with td tag td tag also is used to specify the content into a cell as th displays some of the attributes of the table tag border border color align border is used to specify the thickness of the border to be displayed to the entire table the value is specified into a number which is in pixels a border attribute is not specified a table is created without border that means a borderless table border color border color we give an attribute to specifies the color to the border align left right or center whether the table should be displayed to the left of the browser window right or center of the browser window busy color sets the background color for a table attributes for th tr and td align it is used to align the text horizontally within a cell the value are aligned to the left right or center call span this attribute is used with td and th tag with td or th tag it creates a single column spanning across the table to join or to merge the cells in a one cell then we make use of call spell it takes a numbered value based on the number of columns to be spanned in a table number of columns to be spanned in a table row span again it is used with td and th it creates a single row spanning across the table single row spanning across the table it takes a numbered value based on number of rows to be spanned in a table digi color specifies the background color to a row or a column respectively background color either you uh, give a background color specifically for tr or for a particular column or a particular cell if you give it into td it will be for that particular cell if you give it for tr it will be for a particular a row and if you give it into a table then bg color for entire table let us see the examples of a table in the notepad and a browser i just have the basic tags i remove all the previous tags what i have already typed to display a tabular data i make use of table tag table it is a paired tag hence you have a closing tag and i have some data with two rows and three columns so when i have two rows when i say i want two rows so i write this is one row Another row. 
the number of rows you want those many number of trs you will have to write when i say two rows i have two trs and when i say i want three columns in each row then i write Notice over here, here I have first row and in first row I have three columns. This is my second row and in a second row I have another three columns. I want to display some text into the column. I write this is my table and this will be my tabular data I save this let us see an output onto the web browser I refresh this is my tabular data now you see over here key there is no border to this tabular data because I haven't specified the border attribute to a table tag if I want border, I write border equals higher the number, more tick will be the border. Okay, by default, border is zero. So that means no border. If I write three, four, five, more the number, more tick the border will be displayed. I save it. See the output. You see border. I increase the number to 8 I save it see the output you see more tick the border border color let's change the border color I give border color equals red The red border color. Align. By default, it is left aligned. I write it center. Let's see an output. It is a center to the browser screen. Let me add a caption to a table. In a table tag, I write caption tag. caption tag align I can write it whether I want it at bottom or on the top I write over here to a caption tag I 
refresh a line to the bottom this is bottom caption let me display the text entire thing with entire table with some color I write bg color equals yellow I save it see the output I refresh the entire table in a yellow color you see this is shown as a normal text okay if instead of dd i write th then let's see what is the difference i save it I save it see the output refresh the screen you see this is bold th displays the text in a bold and to the center of the cell this is how the table tag attributes work now let us have the other attributes for tr tag and th tag for tr tag if I give BG color equals do I save it let's see the output I refresh the screen first row is in blue color now let us see call span and row span if I want to merge two columns into one two columns of same row then I make use of call span so same row I write over here call span equals two this th will not have an effect hence I remove it let's see an output I save it go over here refresh you see this is merged into one if i want to merge two columns of different rows into one if instead of year i write row span equals to then this row will not have an effect this column in second row will not have an effect i save this i refresh you see th row span equals two so this over here is must then this is my second column in first row third column in first row in second row first column is not there in second row first column is not there because that is must this is how row span and call span works now let us see hyperlinks on a web page hyperlinks are used to connect one document with another document if there are two documents and if you need to connect if you want to jump from one html file to another html file then we make a use of hyperlinks on a web page in html links are created by using a anchor tag a for anchor when you open any website and click on a text or an image it takes you to that page it is known as an hyperlink we all browse onto the internet when we click onto any of the links 
we see that another page or another image or it takes you to the another website this is done with the help of hyperlinks syntax how do we write the anchor tag like a tag href href stands for hyper reference hyper reference equals my page dot htm so you need to specify an another page or another url where when you click onto the text within anchor tag is you it will jump you to that page here in this example a href equal my page dot htm click here for my page and i close a what the text written in between opening and closing anchor tag is said to be an hypertext when i click on this text your page will be jumped to my page dot htm that is another web page the href attribute in the above syntax is used to specify address of a file that means href is used to specify the url of a web page or a html document where it should jump which needs to be opened on linking html link colors html by default appears in blue and underlined if a web a link is not visited and if a link is visited then color you will see a purple and if a link is active the color you will see as red or blue image hyperlink is an example many websites have images as hyperlink example a href equal my page dot htm in my page dot htm in anchor tag a href equal my page dot htm and closing anchor tag in between the anchor tag i have image so that image will be considered as an hyperlink so when i click onto an image my page dot htm will get open let us now see into a notepad or and onto the web browser how hyperlinks work now i'll type an anchor tag a href equals a name of an another file i'll have to create that another file i give a name as page 2.htm which i will have to create i close anchor tag i type some text so that that text will be considered as an hyper referenced text so i type over here click me to open h2 any text over here will do what i have done over here anchor href equal page 2.htm page 2.htm i have to create in between the opening and closing anchor tag i have written click me to open page 2 i save this i open another notepad and i typed some text some content over here I save this as page 2.htm in the same folder where my first file is. Make sure that this file should be saved into the same folder where your first file is saved. I clicked this is my page 2.htm this is my my page my web page .htm 
from this file i'll be jumping onto this file let us see an output onto the web browser i refresh you see there's an when i place my mouse pointer onto the hyper reference i see an hand wherever whenever you see an hand symbol that means that text is an hyper referenced text so when you click onto it it will be linked to an another web page or another website so i'm clicking over here this is my page 2 you see this is uh, page 2.htm is opened over here my first web page 2 page 2.htm is opened over here This is my first web page. I clicked on back to go to my first web page. I refresh uh, this. I click onto the hyper reference text or hyperlink. When I click onto it, my second page gets open. This is how hypertext works. This is how hypertext works. Instead of instead of text link instead of text link i can also specify an image img src equals i have an jpg file called logo.jpg I save this I show you an output you see an image appears when I click on an image my page 2 will get open I click on this image page 2 gets open this is the use of anchor tag into HTML to jump from one page to another page thank you that was all in to the session 2 of impressive web page designing chapter 3 of information technology subject Maharashtra State Board if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and also click onto the bell icon so that you get the notification for any new videos what I post into this channel. We will see forms into part 3 of impressive web designing chapter. Thank you.